So if you ever find yourselves driving through Kingsville, Texas, and you need a car wash, stop at this place called Whiplash Gillies Detailing Shop. It's right in the central part of Kingsville, Texas, 800 East Kennedy, right next to the water tower. This is a small little place, but they do really good work and very affordable. They are going to give the 450 a nice wash and wax and they're very polite here. They take really good care of me. I didn't tell them about my channel, didn't tell them anything about what I do on YouTube. And again, they offered me just really good rates to get the truck washed, dried, waxed, vacuumed, and shined. What's going on everyone? This is a really cool floor plan and I wanted to take a minute to do a walkthrough of it because I have not walked through one of these yet and it's pretty cool. Now this is a Grand Design Solitude. Solitude is their top end model in the Grand Design line and I think you're gonna like it. First of all, it has the Z-frame down here at the bottom. Again, one of the really nice things about a Z-frame design is just the amount of storage that you get. Huge storage area. The Z-Frame gives you that drop frame design, which does not impede upon any of your storage up front. And this is just a massive example of the type of storage you get with that drop frame. Coming up to the side to get into this thing, this has the LCI solid steps. Now there's a couple different variations of this. One of them is made by Moride, which I actually prefer. Moride has the step above system, and I'm actually gonna be putting that on my RV because I really prefer having that solid design so when you step on it, you don't feel any of the movement. Coming into this grand design, this is a rear living room setup, but the rear living room is elevated. So when you go up to this unit, you walk up to get into the rear living room area. The ceiling's right at about six foot two inches. Has one of those convertible TVs that goes up and down. Really nice layout. A lot of seating room. Both of these couches on each side turn into beds, which turn this entire area into essentially one large bed. Theater seating here. You have all your electronic controls, heat massage, close open your lighting. Step back down, kitchen area. Again, I made a video a while back and I was talking about the brands that you should really look for. Grand Design is definitely one of those higher quality brands. They really pride themselves when it comes to the construction of their units. They're not made entirely different from other RV brands on the market, but there are some differentiators. Some of those differentiations are basically when it comes to the final fit and finish and quality of assembly. That is huge when it comes to these newer RVs. This unit is $75,550. You can probably get a little less than that. List price of $93,000. I know a lot of people are looking to go to purely a residential style refrigerator, but having a gas electric refrigerator can come in really handy. Huge pantry area. One thing that Grand Design puts in all their models is this kind of layout of how their RVs are built. They put this little section that basically states that it's covered by a three year limited structural warranty. Floor decking 25 years, axle 6 years, tire warranty, exterior graphics and roofing. Now we're walking up to the nose of the RV where the bedroom and the bathroom are. This is the bathroom area. One piece shower. Master bedroom. A nice swinging door. King size bed. I really like the closet area in these grand designs. They do a really good job to utilize the space well. Has a nice radius design to it. Walking around the outside of this unit has the level up auto leveling system. A lot of storage. So this unit's gonna be known for a lot of the storage that it has. That's why the living room area and the back of the unit is elevated so high. So it gives you all this storage on the sides. I want you to see how large these storage areas really are. This is underneath the living room huge, huge storage area. And the back is a door that gives you the ability to put larger items, such as large bicycles and things like that in the back. This is kind of a hybrid 
rear living room slash toy hauler. From the back of the unit, you'll see just how massive the storage area is underneath the living room. It has this large slide out tray that gives you the ability to load up all your items on this back tray and simply slide it into the back of the unit, which is storage. That is the first of its kind I have seen. This is simply massive. For those of you with a family that would like a rear living room design slash toy hauler in a way, you know, you can't put anything super tall back here, but you definitely have room for bicycles, for, you know, smaller things for the kids, but just a tremendous amount of room back here. What's cool is that they give you access to that storage from both the sides and the back of the coach. Walking around the other side, and you still have your very large main storage underneath the front too. This is really, really a cool unit. This is the 375 RES. If you go by the numbers, it's roughly 37 and a half feet long. I wanted to take a quick look at the sticker on this one. So the gross vehicle weight rating of this unit is 16,500 pounds. This unit has an unloaded rating of 14,490 pounds. So roughly 2,000 pounds of payload. So hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick walk around of this unit because it has a very unique floor design, one that really impressed me, especially from a storage perspective. This is awesome when it comes to giving you so much more capabilities to full-time live. If you were going to take this thing out, you really have the ability to load it up and not have to worry about storage nearly as much.